Hello, this is an assessment of a Bluthner upright piano, 130 centimetres tall, made in 1923. I just want to look at it, see if there's uh, any work that needs doing. Just appreciate the piano too, really. Um, you can see the spearing on the keys here, which are high quality ivory keys. And in fact, they're absolutely perfect. You can hardly see the join. Uh, that's very encouraging. And the, and the case where it's been refinished, I don't think it's been fully repolished, but it's been a very, a very tasteful indeed ebonized finish and you can see it hasn't been repolished here by looking but it, it's the kind of finish that we would do I think if uh, we were doing this unless we fully repolish obviously but puts the price up enormously because uh, repolishing takes about 60 hours on an upright piano if it's going to be French polished but this is ebonized um, and original finish and just made good so I don't think there's much to say about the outside in ter terms of needing work it just has the single music stand. It has some cat clips uh, put on, which is very useful. If, um, this type of music stand, if you have, especially have thick, thick books, you really could do with something. Uh, so book holders or cat clips is ideal. The, the, the advantage of cat clips is they can be moved in and out. Um, the disadvantage, if you've got young children, they can easily come off and get lost. No, it's been fastidiously restored and well restored. Um, one aspect it's important to know, this is the original rest plank um, and when you put new strings on you, you put bigger tuning pins in and down the base end they often end up quite large. Um, so if they're, if they're loose at the base and they're large pins, uh, there's nothing much you can do apart from replace the rest plank. Uh, so that is an issue, but I've tested them and they are tight. You have to be careful the piano doesn't dry out so that uh, they do get loose. That's obviously very important, but I think they'll be fine. I'm just trying to sort of find things that might need doing. Listening to the tone of the piano, uh, it's, it sings beautifully around here, as you expect with the blute now. That, that note's a bit bright. It's a silvery kind of blues in the tone. So around the treble area is beautiful then. And, and a good tenor area. And the break point is very co contrasting and you often get this on Blutners. Other makes of upright piano too. The damper here um, doesn't pull off as far as I'd, I'd like it to and uh, some of the other dampers too, so they're a bit late. It does mean when you're tuning is sometimes you find one string slightly stopped um, and a lot of them are late and then here in this area here some of them are a bit early, so, uh, well that, that's slightly early. It should be, well you can vary them but they, uh, well what I mean is you can have them between a third and a half, a third and two thirds of the way to the string. But this one here is just under a half half would be sort of normal and some of them if we look at this one here that's middle C there that's really quite late so that's more than two-thirds I would have that earlier I think now the good news is that this is I've mentioned this action before I think the world's best piano action I've only got this uh, bolt here ho holding it in at the moment and these they're just resting on because it does rest so well if I take this off and it just rests beautifully. Um, a lot of pianos, they're not made to the same uh, tolerances and uh, this just sits back down. So you can just regulate it and don't have to put the bolts back on. And now look at this. And that's what we've mentioned on several other videos because I, I just think this is the world's best action and uh, had several comments to the effect that uh, many people agree. Apparently there was a, another firm that has tried making these. If you do know of any firm, or if you're piano action makers, it would be wonderful to see them made like this because the dampers stay on the strings. Uh, dampers, I haven't got an example to show you the difference, but there we have got a video showing you. I'll try and remember to find that and show you the ordinary action where the dampers are here, so they're fixed to the action. So when you pull it forwards, all the dampers come. On this one, they stay on the strings, which makes it very easy to adjust. So if I want to adjust this and for it to come off earlier, I can get hold of the spoon here and adjust it manually. I don't even need any tools for it. Uh, that's just marvellous. And I uh, wish that was more commonly, found more commonly, because it's so useful for for regulating. Um, the Renner hammers here, and uh, there's, it says Renner on the side there. High quality action, a uh, high quality restoration. <laughs> And the damping here and there isn't quite as good as it could be. But that's just adjustment, that's actually the right hand string. 
not damping properly. So that can easily be adjusted. And could perhaps be improved in the bass end too, but it's very hard to get these um, uh, wedge dampers really damping well. But perhaps the springs are a little bit on the weaker side than they could be, and then uh, I think we could probably adjust the spring. Again, you can bend the springs. Uh, I don't think we need to replace them. So uh, there's lots of... Uh, wonderful aspects to the piano really um, so this has got a rocker system by the way instead of a, a capstan that's uh, a bit for uh, in the trade you'll be used to adjusting rocker systems it's uh, basically you you have to take take it down to make it get higher on that one and then adjust the screw um, but uh, a normal capstan is easier to adjust really but um, that's that's not not a reason for not wanting the piano Treble end here, here the hammers have been very well voiced and put on. It's very difficult to get the top hammers to sound strong, but this one, these, this piano, they do sound strong. That's just touching the one next to it slightly. There's a typical blue in the tone. Let's just go down to the bass again. And a beautiful plummy bass sound. Looking at the assessment sheet, it's generally very well restored. Fine regulation and voicing, so the dampers, some of the hammers uh, need voicing a, a little bit here and there. And there's the other points that I've mentioned. Um, restored recently and uh, Renner hammers, so uh, it's obviously been done with a lot of integrity. 11 millimeters of key dip, which is uh, I think is good. 10.5 to 11 millimeters, and that's actually 49 hammer blow. It feels good. The touch feels good, and that's obviously the main thing. Obviously, musicians vary as to what kind of touch they would like, but for me, I, I like this touch. Uh, it's very light. Um, well, it, it's perfectly okay. That it's 47 grams. We've talked about 50. 40, 52 grams in the base, but 47 is fine, and uh, gradually tapering normally to lighter there. It's roughly the same throughout. Uh, there is quite a light one there for some reason, 44 grams down weight, um, but and 52 down weight on that one. So a little bit of lubrication perhaps on the on the balance rail, and uh, that would, may help that a bit. I don't think we need to reweight the keyboard. Um, it feels beautiful. <laughs> So that's the Blutner upright piano, 130 centimetres tall. One of Blutner's best upright pianos, if not the best model really, I think it is the best model. It's 80, 85 notes by the way, not 88, but that um, for most people doesn't matter. And a lot of older pianos are 85 notes, including Backsteins and Blutner's particularly. And the touch is excellent really. It's very well designed action. Just some minor regulation. I mentioned on the video, the dampers was one of the main things, and uh, just bits of voicing as well, where we got slightly brighter than others. Now bear in mind that there's two aspects to bear in mind here. There's quite a contrast in the break here, which you can't really do much about. We can probably voice in those notes a bit to match those notes uh, but it's not something that would put you off buying the piano I don't think see the damping there is definitely in need of work but can be done there's no real problem with it It plays very delicately. I think voicing will help it as well to play more delicately. The, the, the adjustments of the action, the regulation are very good. So I hope that helps. Thank you very much for listening. If you'd like a piano assessed, please do write to us, info at robertspianos.com.